ladies and gentlemen, it would appear and seem the weather pattern is extremely active right about now. So if you are in any of the danger zones, stay aware, stay cool, and stay out of danger. Unless being in danger is your type of thing. It's kind of hard to believe we could be less than six days away from our first hurricane landfall in 2021. Though I got to say, at this point, nobody knows exactly what is going to happen. The GFS model keeps spinning it up as passing south of Puerto Rico and then coming up through Cuba and then entering to the west side of Florida near Tampa, going up through Crystal Rivers, and then pushing up the east coast as either a tropical storm or a category one hurricane. Though we are in a form of model madness, and nobody knows for sure, could be anything from a giant rainstorm to, I would guess, a category two hurricane, depending on where it goes, or it could just straight up curve out to sea. And it's weird that we don't know this close. Hey, 2021 is kind of sketchy across the board. The gem has it on the 6th, which would be about five days away, hitting the tip of Florida as a tropical storm. The nav gem, the, the nav gem has it hitting the tip of Florida on the 6th as a tropical storm. The icon is like, y'all ain't got shit to worry about. The JMA brings it into Mississippi, Alabama's Nothing Burger on the 8th. And uh, King Euro has Cuba totally tear it up and then curve it out to sea. So at this point, it's anybody's guess. And yes, we have over two days left in the Thor News July fundraiser. If you'd like to contribute to keep Thor News up and running, I would greatly appreciate it. I've got a snail mail, a PayPal, a Venmo, a Cash App, a Patron, and only $1,344 left to go. Thank you to Asteroid Fight Club. You guys are incredible, awesome, and amazing. And let me bust out my own tagline here, because it appears even after Tropical Storm Elsa, we have wave after wave after wave that will be headed our way. And this is a bit odd because the main development region off of Africa usually doesn't get active until the end of July or August. Most of the time we get most of the homegrown tropical storms or hurricanes coming out of the CAG area or the Gulf. And so, but you know by now 2021 is pretty weird and the weather is definitely weird. This kind of freaked me out. I mean, I tend not to get freaked out because I am your planned terror defense commander. So it's best if I stay cool, especially when I'm asking you to stay cool. But when I first saw this, that's a lot of rain down in the south. And that's a lot of rain through Florida. And then that's a lot of rain up the east coast. And so we are definitely geared in for the next week being a bit crazy. Which is interesting because it's already been... You know, June was pretty crazy, in my opinion. We got a very active pattern now, and it looks like we'll have a very active pattern over the next 48 hours. Probably all week, really. You've got a lot of thunderstorm watches up, and I think right now a hurricane, I'm sorry, a tornado warning or watch up in Colorado. is like you can see, you've got a lot of moisture and rain and storms happening across i would guess 65 percent of the united states of america and this is only days after the giant heat wave that shattered records in canada washington oregon parts of california over here is our big severe weather watch but we are having like i said tornadoes possibly pop up in colorado and other areas so you know things are weird yeah right now everything just feels a little extra unstable it's my opinion you don't have to agree that is what i feel there is something happening here what it is i'm not totally clear is it climate change is it solar system change is it earth changes is it aliens is it harp um is it interdimensional beings or maybe we're imagining it all 
No, I don't think we're matching at all, man. I think we're going through some real shit. And I got to say again, I think we're going to need some miracles and some divine intervention. For the next year or two. Oh, and on that note, if you guys can, again, send prayers and healing vibes to Mikey T, a fellow Asteroid Fight Club member. He is in the hospital. He's been having COVID complications with his lungs. And so he needs all the love and help he can get from us prayer-wise. Get better, Mikey. You're a super cool dude, and I sincerely appreciate you. Hey, I'm not trying to trigger anybody, but I do think the Delta variant will start to cause problems in the United States of America. We could see rolling lockdowns in certain states as soon as the end of August, and definitely in the winter. So... You know, just be ready for a crazy year, man. And let me state again for the record. I'm not mad at anyone. I don't hate anyone. I don't blame anyone. And so I'm going to do what I can to avoid negative energy, arguing, and any type of fighting I can for the rest of the year. Because life is way too short. And it seems like 2021 will only get more extreme as the year pushes forward. I highly recommend peace, love, and teamwork, but I'm only one man. And so I'm going to do the best I can. But now, you know, the whole thing with Elsa is, you know, if it goes over here. Well, let me show you something. This is a topographical map of Cuba. And so... You know, big X factor will be where will Elsa cross Cuba? And Cuba, you definitely need to be ready, man. Um, this is going to bring you guys a lot of problems, I think. Oh, this won't be your first storm you've ever endured. But I'm just saying, so like, if it slips through here, you know, it's going to do less. It's going to tear the storm up less. If it hits here, it's going to rip the thing to shreds if it comes over, you know. So this is kind of the big X factor. Well, you know, but, you know, it could curve out to sea or it could, you know, some models have shown it getting kind of getting stronger even after it goes over land in Florida, at least. So this is one where even though we're only five or six days away, it's best to continue to pay attention, especially with so much unstable right now. Jacqueline Whittall, severe thunderstorm warning in effect for Windsor, Learnington and the Canada's capable of producing very strong winds and hail. Impossible tornadoes, are guess. We've got a tornado warning in Avondale, Colorado, Boone, Colorado. Baseball-sized hail is also possible. We've got a significant weather advisory for northeastern Mariposa in California. The, the thunderstorms in Denver have been having heavy rainfall rates and a strange strobe light effect. Uh, try not to look directly into it if you have epileptic seizures. You've got tornado warnings issued in parts of Ohio. You've still got fires breaking out across the west coast of the USA and Canada. This is the salt fire. you got trees getting knocked down from 70 mile per hour straight line winds in Washington, D.C. You've got severe thunderstorms moving through Hamilton, Canada. You've got heavy rain in Memphis. And remember those wildfires yesterday in Canada that looked like volcano eruptions? Well, Catherine Provik is letting us know they produced 700,000 lightning strikes. Picks jaw up off the floor. Lightning siege caused by the pyrocumulus clouds associated with the Can Canadian wildfires yesterday. So he also picked his jaw up off the ground. Hey, I had to pick my jaw up off the ground yesterday when I got knocked off my chair by a gravity punch. That was weird. What a weird week for me. I started Thursday last week having to go to the emergency care room for a staph infection. And then last night about 11 o'clock, I got punched in the face by an invisible alien knocking me off my chair. And it's so weird. Anyway. Yeah, dude, this is <clears throat> looked like a volcano. They say it's a wildfire, but it produced lightning like a, vol like a volcano. So, but that the worst of that is over for now caused amazingly amazing damage in lighten where the temperature record is broken 
but we're probably going to have more major massive heat waves that are going to disrupt shit this year. Just letting you know. Yeah, dude, we live in crazy times, indeed. Tam the Scove letting us know, look how busy our sun is. Four solar storms launched over the past few days, modeled by Met Office Space. Earth gets sideswiped today with a large impact expected on July 3rd. Expect aurora at high latitudes, minor issues with GPS glitches, and people acting weird. Because when the sun acts weird, Earth weather acts weird. And sometimes people lose their mind, you know? So try to stay cool during these crazy days, my friends, because it's going to keep getting weird. And, you know, we are on super duper red alert pretty much through the 10th. And then on the 12th, we have the Venus and Mars conjunction, which they say is for lovers. So pair up smartly now. But remember, choosing your lover is one of the most important decisions you'll ever make your whole life. And it will alter your path greatly. So choose wisely. I'll keep a hyper track in this thing for you guys every step of the way up until landfall. You know, tropical storm Elsa. If I had to guess, I'd say it'd probably make landfall around the 7th as a tropical storm possible low category one. But hopefully it gets curved out to sea. But as Andy Hazelton says, it's interesting how much uncertainty there is with Elsa, even in the short range. This is Monday morning and the DEFS has reasonable solutions ranging from a tropical depression in the Bahamas to a Cat 1 to 2 hurricane in the Northwest Caribbean. Intensity and track obviously are connected because of the land. And so, yeah, it's going to be a matter of where does it hit Cuba and how much does Cuba's land disrupt it. But I'll be here for you guys, letting you know. I give you guys my all every single month and then hope it comes back to me at the beginning of start of the next month. And so, if you'd like to pay it forward, or pay it backwards, I don't know how that goes. I got a snail mail, a PayPal, a Venmo, a Cash App, a Patron, and I'm totally amazed that I've been doing it like this for five years. Because you guys are just incredible. I feel so grateful today. Somehow, me getting super punched in the face by an invisible alien, knocking me off my chair, made me humble and more appreciative of everything around me. So thank you to Astrid Fight Club. Thank you to Barbara, Arnica, Dustin, Andrea, Alexis, Lauren, Richard, Scott, Glenda, Light Soul, Dan, Marlita, Daryl, Brian, Anne, KJ, Max, Catherine, Gregory, Wizard of Oz, Charlotte, Matthew, Robert, Carolyn, and Loretta. Y'all are incredible. Well, I got $1,344 left to go with over two, two, two and a half days or two days. So, I don't know. Hopefully, we'll make it. We'll see. Made it every time. But that doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to make it this time. No, I'm just talking. And please, please, please say a prayer for Mike. He needs a miracle right now. Okay. God bless everyone. Stay cool. I'll talk to you all in the near future.